this demo, we are going to be rummaging through Mr. Jeff Buckley's back catalogue to show you the range of tones on offer from this. GFI System Skylar Reverb. I've been using this for a little while now and it is packed with features. Aside from having four reverb modes, you also have, um, you know, the usual sort of layout that you'd expect for those effects, but there are a load of secondary functions to these knobs. By pushing them down and turning them, you can change lots of various bits and pieces. You get two presets that you can program in and a really handy digital readout. But I will get to all of that as we run through some riffs. So let's check out some sounds. Now this is my clean tone. So, you know, pretty straightforward. So let's start off with a plate reverb and everything in the middle. Pretty lovely. There's a bit of modulation on there as well. So this is it without. Here's the modulation up full. And here's the level of the effect up full too. So the modulation has obviously more impact as you crank that and the level of the effect up. So I'm using this one for the last goodbye and that starts with a bit of slide. Which is lovely, and then we have this. Now I am a big fan of shimmer reverb. And this has a shimmer reverb mode. Now here the, the trails are ascending there. With one of the secondary functions, you can actually change that to a descending shimmer, right? So the trails go down. Now I prefer the ascending setting, so I've left it at that and I've left everything else right in the middle. Uh, there's also a se another secondary function where you can determine the amount of highs in those trails, right? So I've left that at five as well. Perfect for grace. Pretty cool, right? Now check out the same settings, I gotta play this one of my favourite riffs ever. also have a tremble verb, which is basically like a tremolo effect applied to the reverb, okay? So you can hear it, you know, chopping away there. You can alter the depth, you can alter the BPM, uh, the highs, all sorts of stuff, right? I've um, used it with these settings, which is pretty nice, I think. Quite a mild sort of trem. Uh, and I like it for lover, you should have come over. for single note stuff as well.
gonna stick with tremble verb, but I'm gonna change the setting slightly. So check this out. This is with the sine wave. This is the square wave. So it's a little bit more pronounced. BPM's the same. I'm also gonna change the depth up to 10. I've turned the decay up. And that's really nice for arpeggiation, like the uh, intro to Forget Her. Now let's try the Spatium reverb setting. I've literally just left all the settings as they were, and I've just notched it on to this setting, right? So... Pretty lush. Great for so real. Check this out. The Spatium Verb also has the same settings that Plate does, so you've got some modulation you can add to that too. So I quite like these settings for Mojo Pin. Let's do some more shimmer. Again, I've just flipped over to shimmer. Haven't changed any of the settings. It's, this just sounds lush. Check this out for Dream Brother. So great with single note stuff, but check it out with these chords. I love this one for the chords in Lilac Wine. And there's a cool setting in Shimmer which allows you to switch between uh, octaves or fifths, right? So this is octaves. And this is fifths. So I'm going to play you out with Eternal Life, which is awesome. I've also cranked the gain on the amp, so you're going to get this sort of a tone. I'm going to use a really mild plate reverb to make this just pop. So I hope you enjoyed this one. See you again soon.